Hey guys, it's Matt and welcome to Mentorship Monday. Thank you for watching. If you guys have real estate questions you want to submit for us to answer right here on the YouTube page, you want to email them to helpmeatterosagroup.com. That is helpmeatterosagroup.com and I'll answer them right here on the YouTube channel and we'll get into a great conversation with you, right? So today's question comes from Tim from Maryland. And Tim from Maryland's got a question about uh, investing in real estate with gift money, right? These are people, this is uh, money that people have uh, gifted to him to put to work in his real estate projects, right? So Tim's just getting started. He's already got one project under under his belt, uh, but he's looking for more. And Tim has a general question that we will talk about, but I think that a lot of you guys can relate to, which, which is, as you're getting started, where do you get the money from, okay? So unless you've got a ton of money squirreled away and saved up uh, to get into real estate, just getting those first couple of deals done with the with a certain amount of money is tough to find the dollars, right? So Tim, it sounds like he's got some people that are looking to gift him money. So let's say it's mom and dad looking to give him, who knows, 10 grand, 15 grand, whatever it is, um, as a quote unquote gift and how that money plays. So the first thing you gotta do, Tim, is you gotta talk to a CPA about when gifts from family become taxable, right? Because if you're, uh, there's a certain level that that, that that gift from your family members become taxable. You didn't put here how much money they're looking to give you, so you need to look into that. Uh, the second thing is, Talk, you said your broker keeps telling you this, so talk to several mortgage brokers because they can get creative on how uh, that money gets booked and, and that. So um, you can get gift money from family guys, but you need to make sure that it's done properly, number one, from a tax perspective, and also that for your first couple of deals that your mortgage broker is looking at that gift money the right way, okay? Um, so that's, again, talk to your professionals. That's a short answer to your question. So. Other options, if you've got family that has a lot of money that they want to put into real estate with you, you can either bring them in as a partner. It sounds to me, Tim, like you're looking to do this through putting the property in your own personal name and getting an FHA mortgage, which is a good way to start. And for all you guys out there that are looking to do that way too, you can start that way in real estate by putting property in your own name and getting an FHA or a Fannie Mae back mortgage um, where you're laying you know, 3% down, 5% down or whatnot. But at some point, you're gonna need to form an LLC and lay down 20, 25% of the property value and you know, do more of a commercial mortgage, right? Where you have to have a small community bank finance it, not the same broker you're talking to, Tim. Some other entity is gonna have to fund it, probably a small community bank, right? So. That's that's my suggestion to you on that. Is find is is um, you know look talk to your professionals. Find a way to fund the deal through um, uh, through FHA or through Fannie Mae if that's what you want to do. Um, but look to grow and um, and uh, lay down uh, more money for larger projects. And again, if you have family that want to get in, you can form an LLC and have those family members own a part of that LLC with you as part of the project. Maybe be silent investors, silent partners where you're the operating member of the LLC and they're silent partners. Works for all you guys too because remember, a lot of people want to invest in real estate. It just, there's it's just my personal opinion, Wall Street's not the only place for people to uh, invest anymore. People can passively invest in real estate and you can get your family members involved in what you're doing if they are part of an LLC as silent investors for you to, to set it up. So they don't necessarily have to gift you the money, Tim. Um, it's something that you could set up to where they're part owners, smaller owners than you are of the LLC. Just maybe a little more complicated and again, you should talk to a lawyer about that, about setting up the entity for you. So um, again, good luck with that and, I, and I, I hope that you're able to set something up with the potential gifting of money to you uh, for, for doing your real estate project. I hope that answers your question. If you guys have other questions you want us to answer right here on the YouTube channel, you want to email them to helpmeatterosergroup.com. That is helpmeatterosergroup.com and I will answer them right here on the YouTube page. And please uh, leave some comments down below so we can get to some chatter about it if you'd like. Thank you as always for watching guys and have a great and profitable week.